Hi everybody, welcome to this video. This is Esther here. So today we're going to be solving exercise 1.1 from your NCRT textbook, chapter one. This is for uh, grade nine students who are studying the CBSE syllabus. So in the previous videos, we have uh, seen the introduction to this chapter in two parts, introduction part one and introduction part two. So uh, I hope you went through all of that. If you haven't, then make sure to do so. It's there on my channel in our playlist, Mathematics for Grade 9. So make sure to check it out and then see this video. So to begin with, let's see the first question. The first question goes like, is zero a rational number? Can you write it in the form P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q does not equal to zero? Of course, we have seen this before, right? I think uh, while I was doing uh, rational numbers in the previous session, I told all of you that you know, uh, there's a question based on this. So I think all of you know the answer, but I will do it anyways. So if even if you do not know, this is the answer to it. So is zero a rational number? What do you think, guys? I think it is because if you see zero by itself, it is in of the form zero by one. Zero by one is nothing but zero, no? So zero is a rational number. So we can say that yes, zero, is a rational number. You need to write it in statement, okay? Statement format is compulsory. Yes, zero is a rational number. Can you write it in the form P by Q, where P and Q integers and Q does not equal to zero? So what we have done here is nothing but uh, writing it in the P by Q form. P and Q integers, no? And here Q, that is our denominator, P by Q. Q is not equal to zero, right? So Q is not equal to zero, right? So zero uh, by one is one uh, format of writing it in the form of P by Q. You can also write zero by two, zero by three. This is zero, okay? Zero by two, zero by three, zero by four, etc. Okay, so accordingly zero can be represented as zero by one, zero by two, zero by three, etc where denominator Q can also be taken as negative integer. That means what? And can be also written as zero by minus two, zero by minus one. Like this also you can write it, okay? So uh, we can just write it in proper format. I will just write it down for you. Uh, this is just an explanation part, okay? Do not write this one. I will write it properly for you. So uh, it can be written in the form. It can be it can be written written in the form i'm so sorry in the form of p by q where p and Q, you need to write full statement. Huh? You should not leave it halfway. So you should write it completely. Where P and Q are integers and Q does not equal to zero. Clear? So that is, you need to write I, E. I means what that is, right? So uh, we can write that is zero by one. You can write just zero by one and leave it, or you can write zero by two, zero by three, etc. Your choice, but it should be of this form. Clear? So uh, that's it for your first question. Now let us move on to the second question. Okay. I hope you. I hope you're able to read the second question, which I've just pasted here. So if you have a textbook. Uh, you can just refer to exercise 1.1 question, but if you do not have, I pasted it here, or you can refer to a PDF, of course, an online uh, e-PDF, which you can find on Google easily. Okay, so second question is, find six rational numbers between three and four. Now, I had already kind of explained this type of questions before. So you can either use the first method, okay, which I told before. If you have watched that video, I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So you can either use the first method of multiplying the numerator and denominator with, uh, you know, like numbers. 
or you can use the second method or mean method okay mean method anything which you wish so i'm going to solve this uh, question for you in uh, the first method next question is also like similar type so i will solve that in mean method so now let us start with this one so for this one we first have to check what you have to check whether it is a like denominator right so 3 by 1 and 4 by 1 as you can see it has like denominators 1 and 1 right so 3 by 1 4 by 1 what is our next step multiply the numerator and denominator of both the numbers both the rational numbers with the same number depending upon the question so since we have six rational numbers we need to find out i'm going to multiply it with 7 into 7 into 7 okay so what is the next step 7 threes are 21 by 7 ones are 7 7 fours are what 28 28 by 7 so what should we do next next what we should do is pick up any six rational numbers which you like i am randomly going to pick up uh, okay firstly we need to write the statement right yeah so therefore the six rational rational numbers six rational numbers between between what 3 and 4 yes between 3 and 4 are 22 by 7 23 by 7 24 by 7 25 by 7 26 by 7 how many over now 1 2 3 4 5 20 7 7 7 by so we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 rational numbers so yeah that is it we have found the answer to the first question so you can either take this okay you can either take uh, seven and find out this or any uh, random number which you uh, feel like taking but you should be able to take six rational numbers between 3 and 4 so you need to be very cautious of that condition okay so let's move on now to the third question i hope it is clear so far let's go so the third question is find five rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 so what are what are we going to do in this we have to use the mean method i told you i will use it and i will show it to you so that uh, you will have an idea on that also by the way you can solve the second and third question either the first method or the second method left up to you but uh, just for my convenience or i just want to make sure you understand both methods i am just going to solve uh you know both the questions in uh you know both the methods i mean like the first method for the first question second method for the second question okay so 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 i've told you that mean method mean method is nothing but a plus b by 2 okay a plus b by 2 so that means what uh just to show that yeah 3 By five plus four by five by two, so a is three by five, b is four by five. So this is equal to since we have like denominators, four plus three by or three plus four by five, five by two. So this is nothing but seven by five by two. I've told you before, a by b by c by d. Here. A is seven, B is five, C is two, D is oh sorry sorry D is one sorry I've written as two sorry it is one two by one is nothing but two no so same thing here so we are going to uh, multiply this and this so that is seven into one by five into two which is nothing but seven by ten right so seven by ten. So now let's move on to the uh, second rational number. By the way, seven by ten is first rational, first rational number. 
Okay. So now next step is what? Add seven by ten plus four by five. So in detail, I've explained in the previous session. So if you haven't watched that yet, you can watch it. I'm repeatedly telling, go watch it, go watch it, because that is having a much more detailed version. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So seven by ten plus four by five by two. LCM is equal to uh, here when I take 10 and 5, I get 10 only, no? So LCM is equal to 10. So this is nothing but 7 by 10 into 1 into 1 plus 4 by 5 into 2 into 2 by 2. Okay. So the next step is 7 by 10 plus 8 by 10 by 2. This is nothing but 8 plus 7 is 15 by 10, the whole by 2 by 1. So that means A by B by C by T. So this is, let me multiply with this. This is going to be multiplied with this. So 15 into 1 by 10 into 2. 15 by 20. So this is nothing but second rational number. We have to find out 5, remember, okay? We have to find out 5. Sorry, little shabby. Okay. Second rational number. Okay. So now let's move on to the third one. So I took here, what did I take? I took four by uh, five, right? Yeah, four by five, and then we have three by five also. Okay, so that means I will take seven by 10 plus three by five. Just a minute, I'm gonna check out whether I've taken the right numbers. Seven by 10 plus three by five, yeah. So, this is by two. So I'll just uh, write for you the, you know, first rational number, second rational number here. Like I'll just put a numbering in the side so that you will find it easier. One, first rational number, then uh, go to second rational number, second rational number, and then this is nothing but your third rational number. Third rational number. So now here we have LCM again as 10, LCM is equal to 10. So this will be seven by 10 into one into one plus three by five into two. Sorry, yeah, into two into two by two. So this is equal to seven plus three twos are six by 10 by two, okay? So uh, seven plus six is 13 by 10 by two by one. This will be multiplied with this. This will be multiplied with this. So this is equal to 13 into one by 10 into two. So this is 13 by 20, absolutely. So 13 by 20, 13 by 20 is nothing but your third rational, third rational number. So you can either write this point. I mean, don't write like this in the exam. Huh? Put one arrow and write third rational number. Don't write like that. If you don't want to specify that, you know, here, right here, third rational number, then you can, what you can do is you can just write here. Forget this three, okay? Imagine that I didn't write this three. So what you can write, I'll I'll write like how you should do it in the exam. You write third rational number. Your exam, your notebook, everything. Third rational number, and you can put this. So this, th this whole thing is completely unnecessary if you're writing just this, okay? So uh, while finding the fourth rational number, I'll tell you how you should write in the exam paper okay the, uh, this is for explanation purposes i'm writing like quickly and not neatly i mean like i'm just like quickly writing it but i'll tell you how you should write everything in the exam fourth and fifth one 
fourth and fifth rational number i will tell you how to do it okay so uh, you can write fourth rational number i'm trying my best to write neatly okay so if it's little chavi please don't mind <laughs> so fourth rational number you need to write this number thing as n u m b e r okay not n o dot in the exam please don't do that and please don't write n o dot okay so now next what we found it as the second rational number uh, we found out 15 by 20 right yeah 15 by 20 so now we will consider 15 by 20 15 by 20 plus 3 by Five. I'm taking three by five is what was there in our question, right? So three by five, yeah. So now this is by two. Now twenty and five LCM. This is nothing but uh, four. Here two two is a four. Five fours are twenty, so therefore LCM is equal to twenty. So that means next step is fifteen by twenty into uh twenty LCM. That means here it is one plus three by five into four, four by two. So this is nothing but fifteen by twenty. Plus three, three no, twelve, twelve. Yes. So four threes are twelve. Twelve by twenty by two. Okay. So, uh, fifteen plus twelve is how much? Twenty seven by. Uh, I'm just quickly solving it here. Actually, I'm not going to go on detail explanation. So we will do nothing but twenty seven by twenty. By two, by one. Here, these two. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we will take these two and these two. So that means twenty-seven into one is twenty-seven. Twenty into two is forty. Okay. So next, what we're gonna do? This is our fourth rational number. We found out fourth rational number is this, no? Next, lastly, we are going to write the fifth rational number. Fifth rational number. So, what is our fifth rational number? We are going to take four by five, four by five, and fifteen by twenty. Fifteen by twenty plus four by five by two. Okay. So, LCM we found out it is twenty. So, twenty only we will go with that. Again, I want to that like. LCM solving, so fifteen by twenty into one into one plus four by five into four into four by two. So this is nothing but fifteen plus four four is sixteen by twenty by two. This is nothing but thirty one by forty. Okay, I quickly just did it. So therefore, now you need to write a conclusion statement. Very, very important. Very important. Okay. So therefore, the five rational, the five rational numbers, numbers between three by five and four by five are. So again, going back to our first rational number, I will just quickly write it down. So what is our first rational number? We found that as seven by ten. Then we found fifteen by twenty. Seven by ten. Seven by ten. Fifteen by twenty. Then thirteen by twenty. And after finding out thirteen uh, by twenty, we found out twenty-seven by forty, right? Twenty-seven by forty, twenty-seven by forty, and.
and finally we found out 31 by 40. So this is your uh, third question via the mean method. But if you are solving using the first method, this will be quite shorter, okay? So that is your third question. Now let us move on to the next question. So guys, we have come to the last question, which is the fourth one of in exercise 1.1 for how has it been so far? I hope it's been fun all this while. So we are going to stop with the last question for this video. And then we will do in the next video the introduction to 1.2. Okay. So how do we do the first one? Let's see that. So the first question goes like, every natural number is a whole number. So every natural number is a whole number. How can we say that? What are natural numbers, first of all? That starts from one, two, three, and so on. And then whole numbers, whole numbers. So whole numbers start from zero, one, two, three and they go so on right so can i say that um, in the whole numbers collection natural numbers are also part so that means one onwards everything is a natural number so can i say that natural numbers are whole numbers absolutely right i can say that so that means i'll write it in a proper statement for you this is how you should write it you should not write this part okay this is for your explanation should not write it in this part. So this is how you should write it. True, since the collection of whole numbers contains all natural numbers, including zero. Okay, so now let's move on to the second part. Second part. So, uh, second part is nothing but every integer is a whole number. Now, what have I told you before? Integers and whole numbers, are, it's written here. So, integers and whole numbers. So, what are integers? negative numbers positive numbers and zero right so uh, every integer is a whole number when i say whole numbers are starting only from zero that means only from here it starts right this is what is whole numbers whole numbers but whole numbers do not include a negative numbers right they don't include this so that means not every integer is a whole number let me write the statement for you, which you must write in exam. So you mustn't consider this, you know, whole part which I've written here. Do not consider this, but you should consider this one. Okay. So false, whole numbers contains only positive numbers while integers have positive numbers or zero. You can explain the statement by giving an example. So you can say uh, minus two is an integer sorry not an it is a it is a integer is a integer but not a whole number clear very simple you know true and false they have asked but you should be able to answer that in proper words you might know the you know answer to it but your uh, statements the way you form the statements must be correct Okay, so now let's start with this one, the third one. Every rational number is a whole number. Every rational number is a whole number. So what are rational numbers? And what are whole numbers? We know rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed in the form P by Q. 
where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. So whole numbers on the other hand are starting from zero, one, two, three. And the question says that all rational numbers are whole numbers. I mean, every rational number is a whole number. So uh, rational numbers can be anything. You can say that three by five is a rational number, minus four by minus two, minus four by three. All these are rational numbers, but is it a whole number? Is it equal to all of this? Absolutely not, right? It is not equal to. So therefore, false rational numbers may be fractional but whole numbers may not be fractional you maybe you, you do not feel, want to write this statement if you do not want to write this then you can do another thing you can explain by an example Okay, you can give example, uh, 2 by 3 is a rational number, but not a whole number. You need to write full form of rational number, whole number and everything, okay? So, but not a whole number. So, yeah, you can give any example and you can explain it. Clear? So, this is your fourth question. So, guys, I hope you understood exercise 1.1 completely and i will see you all in the next video with something new definitely we will start with exercise 1.0 okay uh, we won't start with it sorry we'll start with the introduction to that and i will meet you all in the next video till then take care guys bye bye